Why you wanna let me go? Not nah, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know. Not nah, nah, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What Hello everyone, welcome to a weekend vlog. You guys know if I start off the video and I'm not glamorous with a wig on and dressed with a cute little top, then it's because it's a vlog. <laughs> if I look raggedy, it's because it's a vlog. But anyway, I'm starting off my morning super chill and relaxed. I just had a nice little home workout. You guys saw that and now I'm getting ready to actually make me an iced coffee. I'm drinking Associates right now, but I want iced coffee. So I actually just took a few sips of this to give me a little energy because I woke up kind of tired, but I'm gonna make me an iced coffee and put this in the refrigerator. So good morning y'all, welcome to a weekend vlog. You guys know when I am doing something cool, I like to vlog it, I like to start a vlog. And this is gonna be a very chill weekend, but I do have some things going on that I wanted to, you know, vlog for you guys and share with you guys. So. That's why I'm doing a vlog, but um, hopefully you guys are cool with spending the weekend with me. Um, I am going to be doing something this weekend, so I thought it would be fun to take you guys along and show you what I'm up to. So what's going down is I'm actually going to something called Boat Cinema. So if you've never been to that, it is so much fun. It's so cute. It's basically watching a movie out on a boat. <laughs> and you and your family or whoever you bring with you actually take the boat out yourself. So they do like a little tutorial and then you take the boat out yourself. So it's actually pretty cool. And so I'm going with my boyfriend, his sister, um, her daughter and her husband. So it's basically a little family thing. And we have a really good time together. My boyfriend, sister and I are all really very, very close. Um, and I love her and I love her daughter. I love having a niece because I only have a nephew. So um, it's awesome having like a niece around. And I actually have a, a big bag of goodies that I'm going to be taking to her for um, her school year. So I'm excited to hang out with them. But yeah, I'm just using my Starbucks concentrate to make my coffee. I'm going to add some water to that because it is concentrated. It's not super concentrated, but it's concentrated enough you need to add water. So let me get a bottle of water to add to that. But yeah, it should be a nice weekend. It is hot as the dickens out here, y'all. It's hot as hell. LA feels like Las Vegas right now. If you've never been to Vegas in the summer, baby, don't do it. That's all I'm gonna tell you. I've been to Vegas in the summertime my whole childhood. Every summer we would go with my grandmother and my aunts. And uh, yeah, even then it was rough. But it's something that I just don't do anymore. I won't go to Vegas during the summer anymore. Um, the last time I went, my cousin, it was her wedding in Vegas. And that was the last time. It was probably, I think they've been married for about seven years. So I just don't do Vegas in the summer. But it feels like Vegas out here in LA right now. It's that hot. Anyway, we are going to be on a lake. So the temperature should be actually really nice. But yeah, I got my iced coffee. I'm going to just chill for a little bit because I feel like I'm still... My heart is still pumping from the workout, even though I did a little cool down. I still feel like my heart is pumping a little bit. So I'm actually gonna just re relax for a little bit and then I'll hop in the shower and put on my clothes and everything and get back with you guys. I actually want to do a huge unboxing. I'm gonna turn you around right now to show you what we're gonna be unboxing. I have so many packages to unbox. So, and I've never done like an official unboxing on my channel. I think I did one with Urban Outfitters where I actually partnered with them, but I haven't really done one other than that. So I thought it'd be fun to unbox. I got like 10 packages over there and they're, they're big. <laughs> so we'll do that together. And then I'm also going to make individual little charcuterie containers for each of us, it's six of us that are going. So I'm gonna make six of those and I'll show you guys what those look like. Just to give you some ideas, if you're gonna be doing something similar with your family on how you can make little individual charcuterie trays for the family. So I'll do that with you all. And then by the time that's done, I'll chill for a little bit and my boyfriend will be here. It'll be time to go to the lake. So yeah, 
let's get into this day, y'all. Workout is done. Iced coffee is hitting. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> here are all the packages that I'm going to be unboxing with you guys. I got a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Most of it is home stuff. But I have a couple of pairs of shoes and some other clothing items in there. So I'll be unboxing all of that. And I also did like a pretty big TJ Maxx um, run. So I want to share all the stuff I got from there as well. So I'm going to go take a shower, get cute, get as cute as I can at least. And then I'll be right back with you guys to show you what's in all these packages. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and threw on a little something something. Took me a nice little shower and... Now it's time to get all this crap out of my living room. So I'm starting off with something from Amazon. I don't even know what the hell this is. So let me tell y'all what it is. Oh, pillowcases. Pillowcases. Those are from Amazon. You guys will see those get put on my bed very shortly because I'm going to be remaking my bed. Like I said, most of this stuff is actually home stuff. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to redecorate my bed. And I've just been feeling like green tones. And I don't like my bedding anymore, so I'm actually gonna get rid of it. And so I ordered a bunch of new stuff. Oh, this is my sheet set, perfect. This is from overstock.com. And it's a patterned sheet set. It has the pillowcases, the sheets. So let me show you the pattern. So it's like this little pattern on there. You all can see that. You'll see it a lot better when I decorate the bed, but it's in an olive color and it has like white lines design on there so but it's very modern it's very cute i can't wait to do my bed with y'all like i cannot wait um oh i wanted to show this to you guys real quick so i haven't done like a nordstrom sale video because for one i'm not sponsored <laughs> a lot of the nordstrom sale videos that you guys are seeing are sponsored nordstrom is not cheap so until they sponsor me i won't be doing any major nordstrom hauls i, I tend to shop more on nordstrom rack than nordstrom but um, Nordstrom, if you're listening, I do shop from y'all here and there. And, you know, a sponsorship would be great. I promise to give you good content. But anyway, until I do, I'm buying my own stuff. So the only thing that I really actually got from the Nordstrom sale, the Nordstrom anniversary sale, is this set of perfume. I got this Valentino. This is the Born in Roma Intense. So this is the intense version of the Born in Roma scent by Valentino. So I got that little set. It was on sale. Very good price on that. So that's basically the only thing that I have from the Nordstrom sale. So you guys were expecting something from me on that sale. Uh, unless I get contacted. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all. Um, but um, yeah, I do have a haul coming up for you guys. So it's going to be like a little pre-fall type of haul. But here's some stuff from Target. The first is going to be a couple of perfumes so if you remember in my last haul i shared these hair room and body sprays from target with the little bamboo lids well i went ahead and got one more scent this is the solar floor so solar flower scent and i just had to get the last one and i also got this body mist it's called finery it's the jungle santal and this is particularly to go in my bedroom. I just kind of want to set it up on my side table. Oh, that smells good. Very deep for a body mist. Wow. So yeah, two body mists from Target. And I'm going to show you guys in the bathroom how I actually have those set up. It's so cute. This other stuff that I picked up from Target are some matching pieces from the plaid pants and vest that I got. So I ordered the blazer that matches that pair of pants and the vest. And I also ordered the skirt, but the skirt is not here yet. I guess that's gonna arrive in a couple of days, but I did get the plaid blazer. I was gonna hold off showing that to you guys and wait for my, ooh, wait for my, I almost fail, um, actual fall or pre-fall haul, but you saw it. <laughs> this package, let me see, I'm not sure what this is or where it's from. Yeah, I'll just be, look, this is something you don't know exactly where the stuff is coming from, even though you ordered it. Like, oh, okay. This is from Sam Edelman. This is a pair of shoes that I ordered. Yeah, okay. These are a pair of chunky clogs. So cute. And I actually have some ideas on how I'm going to be styling these in the fall. So these are a fall shoe. Like I said, I do have a fall haul coming for you all. But here's 
we got a little ways before we get to that haul. So the next thing I have here is a shipment from Steve Madden of a pair of shoes that I ordered. And these are breathtaking, you guys. These, of course, are a dupe for, I forgot the name of the shoe, a luxury brand, but they're in this beautiful bronze color. I love the heel height. This is like not a super high heel, so it's perfect for me. And yeah, I just love the bronziness of these heels. As you can see, they have that little padded um, ankle like the luxury brand ones. I can't remember the name, but I know we always here for a good dupe, so I can't wait to wear those. Gotta tell my baby to take me out so I can put those on immediately. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. This is a package from Forever 21. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. I think I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait on this for the actual haul, the fall haul, because that's some clothing items from Forever 21. And it's basically fall items and it's just too hot to wear right now. So it's like, why even show y'all that if it's too hot to wear it? <laughs> this package is from TJ Maxx. Let's see what we got here. I love shopping on TJ Maxx's website. You know, in store is always great, but the website is actually pretty darn good as well. So I'm always on TJ Maxx's website browsing. It really is a good place to shop, you guys. So if you want to check out TJ Maxx, start checking them out. They have a website, Marshalls has a website. I don't think Home Goods does, but you know, they're all in the same little chain family. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Okay, this is a little round pillow because I wanted to add some texture to my bed. I ordered this little pillow here. And as you can see, it is like a furry pillow. This is gonna look so cute when I do the bed. Oh my goodness, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. The next thing I have here is like a little three pack of bras. So these are kind of like, these are light support bras, but I love wearing these when I wear like my little sets around the house. These are perfect because they don't have underwires. They're like soft. They have the little padding in there so your nipples aren't popping out so your man can leave you alone. <laughs> Y'all feel me? <laughs> but yeah, it's a little three pack. It has like a beige colored one, a brown one, and a black one. So, and these are by the brand Danskin and again from the TJ Maxx website, not the store. I don't know if they have those in the store actually, so. But they might. The next item I have or package I have here is from H&M. Huge king size blanket that I wanted from H&M. So this is what it looks like. It's like a textured blanket. You'll see it a lot better on my bed when I actually do the bed for you guys in a second. But it's so soft. I knew it would be soft. I could tell the way it looked. But yeah, this is a great like duvet stuffer type of blanket because it's not too thick like a comforter. And it, you can also use it as like a lay on top of the bed blanket. That's what I'm gonna use it for because sometimes I sleep on top with a blanket because I don't wanna have to fix the bed every single day. Especially when you have as many layers on your bed as me. Sometimes I just sleep on top of the damn bed. I ain't gonna hold y'all. <laughs> sometimes I'm just too lazy to get under the covers. So. <laughs> I always have like a nice thick blanket laying on my bed. And when I take you guys in there in a second, you'll see the one that's on there right now. Everything I have on my bed right now is H&M basically, except the throw pillows are TJ Maxx. But so H&M has really, really good home stuff, especially bedding. They have good linen, quality is amazing. And I think I am gonna save these for the fall haul. Pull all of this out of the way. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff as you can see. But look at this bomber jacket. <sighs> That's gonna be a good haul. <laughs> I'm gonna end up falling before this video is over. I'll let shit in the floor. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> I'm in danger for y'all. See what I got through for y'all? Okay, this is what I'm really excited about. So this is a linen duvet set from H&M. So this is for me to pop off my bed. And, oh, it's so nice. Oh, the texture of it. Of course, it's not gonna show up for you guys on, looking at it on the camera but the texture of this linen is ding, perfection. It feels so nice and it looks so expensive and it wasn't cheap, I'm not even gonna lie. This is a king size set because I like king size pillows on my bed and I like the bedding to kind of drape over my bed. Even though my bed is a queen, I always order my bedding in a king size. So 
this is a king size set right here so it wasn't cheap <laughs> so here's what my bedroom is looking like before i do my little makeover with all my new stuff i'm so excited to change out the bedding i've just grown so bored of this bedding and i'll go ahead and insert a pan of the room right now while i talk you guys will get to see what it looks like i've shared my bedroom in past videos i think i did a recent video about storage and stuff like that where i pretty much showed everything including the bedroom but yeah this is what it's looking like my bedding right now is gray i mixed in a little bit of black and some grays a little bit of cream colors as well to bring a little bit of light but like i said before the bedding itself is from h m the top duvet the dressy pillows the gray ones are from h m the pillows that are behind are also from H&M. Those are from H&M's linen collection, which is amazing. And also the throw blanket, the like zebra printed throw blanket on the bottom of my bed is from H&M as well. They have amazing blankets. They're huge. And if you don't want to make your bed every day, you can always just sleep on top of your bed and use those blankets because they're nice and heavy. But yeah, this is what the bedroom looks like. As you can see in my bedroom, it's overall pretty simple to me, but I definitely like to incorporate textures, a lot of baskets and like outdoor type of things. It feels sort of outdoorsy. And it also has that like African luxe type of vibe. That's what I like. So that's the bedroom. So now we're gonna actually change it. We're gonna have bedding that is different shades of green. So olive green, sage green, um, hunter green is what I'm going for. And I think it's gonna look stunning. I'm so ready to start changing it. I'm actually just ready to start snatching up shit right now, y'all. I'm ready, I'm ready. So anyway, I'm gonna be inserting a clip while I undress the bed. And then of course, when I start to redress it. So let's get into that right now because I'm ready to put my new stuff. You know how when you get new stuff, I almost feel like a kid that's getting ready to um, start the first day of school. You know how when you get, when you get new stuff and you just wanna put it on so bad, that's how I feel, so. Let's get into it, y'all. I'm about to be sweating. the bed is done like you saw in the clip I did run my steamer over the duvet but I didn't run it over my pillows because I just don't have time to do that right now I'm getting short on time and I need to go make my little charcuterie containers change my clothes so I didn't have time to do that but I will do that eventually and just kind of steam them a little bit but I'm okay with linen being wrinkled like linen is supposed to be wrinkled it's a textured fabric so I'm not I don't care about that that much so but I was just in my little Jackie Ina mode so I decided to go ahead and, and steam my duvet like she does but um yeah I didn't go the full way like she does Jackie is like lavishly Jackie okay but um I am going to style my little tray that I bought to put on this table over here so I'll do that with you guys I'll bring you over here and we'll do that together and then we'll make the charcuterie containers and be out so gotta move fast <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so here is my little side table that kind of doubles as a bookshelf. And this is from Ikea. It has the little four um, quad thing with the baskets at the bottom, but I will show you guys a full clip of it when we're done. What I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and scoot this as far as I can to the edge because I want the tray to be like right here. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Because I do use this lamp that is from Target. I do use that a lot um, at night when I'm reading. So I definitely need that there. And then of course, here's my little water thing that I share with you guys. I think it's called a Karif, I think it's called, but I use that as well. So I need that to be there also. But we're gonna go ahead and style that little tray. I don't have a lot of stuff to put on there, just a couple of things because I don't wanna crowd it. I did get this cute little vase from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna cut off the tag. Oops, take that off, put that on there. And then of course, this candle from TJ Maxx from Sand and Fog. This is the sage and sea salt candle from Sand and Fog. The color is perfect for this room now. And then I want to put this body mist there as well. So, because the color is just gorgeous. So, and now I'm gonna go ahead and light the candle. My air conditioning is on, that's why it's blowing like crazy. You guys could probably even hear it, but I need that on right now because it's hot. <laughs> it is. My little flames are blowing like crazy. <laughs> but oh well, that's, you know, that's life. But yeah, that's all I'm actually gonna put on there. I'm gonna put the top to my little candle inside of this container here. There's a few other candles down in this one that I use for my bedroom, but yeah, there it is, you guys. What do you think? I think it looks so cute. Um, it is a little crowded, you know, for a side table, but I think when you have such cute little elements on there, yeah, that's okay. So this looks really cute. I'm impressed. I like it a lot. So yeah. Let's do a full pan of the room and then we'll go into the kitchen to do some cooking together. Alrighty, so I'm starting a slow pan of the room, starting on the left side of the room. Of course, you guys have seen that. That's just my dresser. You've seen the bookshelf with the baskets. But here's the new bedding. I think it looks so good. I actually really, really like it. I love the different tones of green and the different textures on the bed. I love this Ugg blanket. I am obsessed, it's so soft. And of course, like I said, I always keep a large blanket on my bed in case I don't want to get under the covers on the bed. But I think this looks absolutely gorgeous and the tones may not show up exactly as they are on this video but trust me the shades of green are stunning and I didn't change my rug because I don't think my rug needs to be changed every time I change my bed I actually like the idea of different patterns and things like that and different textures in my room so I'm okay with the rug being black and cream but yeah here's the bedding my pillows are wrinkled because like I said, I didn't steam them, but I will get to that when I get back from where I'm going tonight. This of course is my little side table that I decorated. It looks so good. Super, super cute. And yeah, that's the change you guys. So now that we've done a little mini bedroom makeover, we can go ahead and get started on some snacks and then we can be out the door. So unfortunately, I didn't have time to show myself actually making these little individual charcuterie containers, but I thought I could show you guys real quick what's in them. So um, what I basically put in them is some fruit, some olives, and some meat and cheese. Two of the family members that are going are vegan, so I replaced their meat and cheese with vegetables, as you can see. But the other ones look like this. So there's some turkey, there's some gouda, there's some cheddar, and then there's some marinated olives, cherries, grapes, and oranges. So that's what's in each of these. Then I have the crackers here. So um, the crackers are to go with the meat, cheese, as well as some hummus. So these are the cracker packages for each one. And then I also prepared six of these little packs, which have hummus. That's a thing of hummus. And then I put two little peanut butter rice crispy bites from Trader Joe's. These are life. Those are life. Okay. <laughs> they were so bomb. But I put two of those in each one of these and I put a little pack of orchard antioxidant mix this little orchard harvest 
Orchard Valley Harvest antioxidant mix. So I put a pack of those in each one. And then I put a little spoon and fork in each one. So they have a little snack, they have the hummus, they have, you know, they can eat with the little crackers. And also there's pita chips in here too. So there's crackers and pita chips in those so they can, eat the hummus with the pita chips and eat the meat and cheese with the crackers and so on. And for those that are vegan, they can use their vegetables to eat the hummus. So yeah, wanted to show you guys that. Now I'm gonna pack everything up so we can head out. All right, you guys, so I'm packing everything up now. I'm putting all of the mini charcuteries in this bag. This is from Trader Joe's, such a cute little bag. Yeah, these are so cute. It turned out just the way I wanted them to. I want to get the wine. I have some little mini wines here. My boyfriend bought some wine also, some spritzers. He brought these. Put those down in there. And then for the baby, I have a tea. Huh, maybe I should have used a bigger bag. Actually, you know what? I think I will use a bigger bag. This is such a great idea, you guys. If you're doing like a family outing and you're up to it, it's such a fun thing to do. I actually really enjoy doing stuff like this. So I volunteered and told them like, I'll bring the snacks. Please let me bring the snacks. And I love doing this for my own family as well. The last time I did this with my family, I mean, this family is my family too, but last time I did this with, you know, my, my family. Um, I did this as well, but I did it a little bit different. And then we also had like some individual um, pasta salads packed in individual little bowls. So we did it slightly different, but kind of the same. Put some water here. Now I'm gonna put in our little packs and crackers. And yeah, we got our hefty bag here. And I wanna show you guys my outfit. It really is nothing major. This is like kind of a casual family thing. So the girl didn't have to do it up or hoop it up like that. <laughs> you know, some people like, it's just funny because some people everywhere they go, everything they do, they're like full glam, full. And that's okay, but no, not over here. Let me turn y'all around. All right, I'm ready to go. Here is the outfit of the evening. I just want to show it to you guys real quick. My boyfriend is putting on his shoes and socks. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> He's sitting right there, you guys, out of the camera sight. But I have on these sort of loose fitted cargo shorts. These are from Fashion Nova. You all have seen these styled up in a recent video. And a plaid green shirt from Boohoo. I have on my Hunter Green Pumas. These are from Amazon. I will link them if you're interested. Actually, I think they're from the Puma website. Excuse me. They're Puma Kids from the kids the Puma website, the kids section. And then I have on this white t-shirt from ASOS that has like a little drawstring. So very casual, got on my Amazon LA hat. Y'all know how I do. And yeah, that's the look. We're going to a lake. I don't need to be glam. I'm with my man. He likes me the way I am. And we're going to have fun. So I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna take y'all along, show y'all some clips of what we're seeing, what we're looking at, what we're doing. And you already saw what we're eating. So let's go. On the road, y'all. Good times ahead. Good times ahead. It's the money. We made it. Babe got the snacks. Here's the lake, y'all. See the water? Very pretty. Very pretty. I'm gonna go sign in. Sign our consent form in case we drown out there. I swear they never really understand me. I 
good morning everyone sorry to start you guys off in la traffic but we are on our way to another adventure welcome to another day on the vlog today we are headed to catalina island we're taking a little daycation me and my boyfriend and i thought it would be really fun to take you guys along i didn't get to start the vlog at home so i just thought i would go ahead and start it on the road and get you guys going but yeah welcome to another day welcome to another adventure time to have some fun New sounds, I make a face lift. I'm in a new town, I make the waves flip. New town, we a crew and balance. Ride, run the game until my shoe is callous. Don't know loose gravel, keep the flame lit. I relay the message, nobody better. I'm bringing them careless, I want it forever, but I'm with whatever. Cause these days, I've been doing things my way. I can't hide away, me feel it's all in my face. We just arrived. The island. We're here. It's gonna be such a nice day. Thank you, baby. Perfect weather. Thank you, babe. My babe treat me to a day on the island. Island girl. <laughs> so we have arrived, darling. We have arrived to the island. We're here. We're about to get off. And plans for the day. What's our plans for the day, babe? We're gonna start with the the car ride, mm -hmm. tour the island, eat something, have some drinks, and uh, you know, just chill. Be good. That's the plan. Sounds like a beautiful day. Nobody better with the better rig. Keep out your core with the better kiss. West side, west side. You dead right, dead right. But I'm hating lanes from my side. We on our way. We in our little golf cart. <laughs> yeah. We are on our way. Hit Kona's. About to do this little tour of the island and then um, chill for a bit. Look for somewhere to have some good seafood. But yeah, we're on our way. Our tour is about an hour long to get like around the island and sightsee. They gave us this cute little map, which you guys should have seen in the previous clip. If you're in the LA, Long Beach, California, Southern California area, it's a nice little thing to do as a family. And um, I would recommend it. Overlook is so beautiful. Look at that. Wow. It is the perfect day. Perfect, perfect, perfect day. Fresh air. You so handsome, day. Damn. Got it, baby. You're doing good. You're doing good. We just finished up lunch, you guys. It was amazing. It was so good. I'm full. We're walking around now, enjoying the sceneries, enjoying the sights, walking off some of this meal, and about to go get some ice cream. So, walking it off, but really not. <laughs> Been a beautiful day. We're going to be heading back to go get back on the boat in about an hour. So, I'm glad I could take y'all along.
Well, we are approaching the docks at this point, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here with this beautiful scenery from Catalina. If you are interested in taking this trip, you can go to CatalinaExpress.com. Not sponsored, but I think it's definitely worth it. But I wanna thank you guys for checking out the vlog, hanging out with me. I really enjoyed sharing and I will see you all on the next one. Love you guys, bye.